everyone, welcome to my bathroom. It's kind of weird to have you here, but I think it's gonna work. We're talking to you in the mirror instead of into the camera, but um, yeah, welcome to the bathroom. Today I wanted to show you my nighttime makeup removal and evening skincare routine. And uh, yeah, I've got a lot of questions about skincare lately and I just think that yeah, skincare is one of the most important parts of makeup to me. I don't think that you can have truly beautiful makeup without very beautiful skin. So I really try to look after my skin. I am 30, so I've been doing skincare for a long time now and I feel like I've kind of figured my skin out. But, you know, sometimes I like to switch around products too, um, depending on how my skin is feeling on the day, depending on the season. But I'm just gonna go with what I would use today just if I was doing my skincare alone and I was picking out from my collection what I needed that day and then what I might do is run you through a more skincare collection of products in another video because I think it would just be too long if I was telling you about all the oils that I use or something when um, I'm just going to use one today. So we're going to get started with cleansing. Obviously, I want to remove my makeup and I have been a big fan of removing my makeup with oils and balms over the last forever. I think the first vlog post I did was on a cleansing balm and that was, yeah, I had a written vlog. Can you believe that? So yeah, I'm just a really big fan of oils and balms because they melt your makeup and just dissolve it so easily, way easier than face wipes or my set of water, anything like that. And yeah, I feel like it's the easiest lazy girl way to take off your makeup. I like to do things the easy way. So the cleansing oil that I'm using at the moment is the Neutrogena Deep Clean Hydrating Cleansing Oil. This is like my second bottle. This is really, really good for a drugstore product. I feel like when I originally started using balms and um, oils, they were all very high end and very hard to find. Whereas now we have stuff like Neutrogena that is just as good, but a fraction of the price. So that is really good for my pocket and for yours. So I basically just pump it into my hands. My hands are clean, obvs, and uh, I smush it all over my face. And I actually really like this part because it just feels really good. Just smush that all around my face and it will dissolve all of my makeup. Oh, by the way, I burnt my face and hair curlers. If you see something there, just don't, don't even ask. Don't even ask. <laughs> yeah, it's gonna melt all my makeup and kind of like pull out any dirt and makeup and impurities and just yeah take off makeup really easy i hate sitting there with like a bottle of micellar water and cotton pads and just wiping for ages i find it really strips my skin and it's just such a pain <laughs> just in general so i like to use an oil and even if you can see here, I had a bit of a smoky eye on and it just dissolves everything so quickly. This is waterproof mascara as well. Whoa, this is a look. <laughs> but did you see how quick that was? It's really simple. So then you can activate the formula even more by using water. I just wet my hands underneath the sink and I'm going to rub that in even further and the water helps to emulsify the makeup and activate the cleanser further and you can see here like if you're my age and I know 30 isn't old but it is definitely an age where you want to start thinking about anti-aging products and making sure that you're not aging your skin faster than it needs to be so you can see the hydration of the oil it stops me from like pulling on my skin and pulling on my under eyes which creates wrinkles so I just love the fact that it's not going to make me look wrinkly and old. <laughs> it's really quite dehydrated and I just need all the hydration possible in every step. Anything that's stripping is just not, not about that life. And I wear fake tan on my face as well, so I don't want something stripping off my fake tan all the time. And I feel like a lot of cleansers do that because they're so harsh and they just Oh yeah, they just take everything off. I want my skin cleansed, but left soft and supple and 
still feeling like my skin, not like the Sahara Desert. Now I'm going to take a face cloth. This is just a regular little face cloth. A lot of people use white. I like to use darker colors because then if my makeup were to stain the cloth at all, it doesn't look as bad. I get really annoyed when like white cloths have stains on them. It's just a pet peeve. So I use um, a clean face cloth every time I do my skin. I don't reuse these at all. Um, and I just run it under hot water. And by hot water, I mean hot to the hand, not like boiling water, just whatever your hand temperature hot would be for washing your hands. Does that make sense? Yeah, it does. It's so weird that I'm talking to you looking like this. Anyway, so I just wring out the cloth of excess water and then I just rub it over my face and because it's a cloth, it will provide some micro exfoliation as well. You don't need to rub that hard though because it will come off really easy. You see how much more gentle on the eye that is than scrubbing away with a makeup wipe or something to remove your makeup. You just, it makes me like shiver when I see people do that. Just don't do that to your skin. Oh, you can see the lovely curler burn coming through there now. So clumsy. So that is my makeup removed. And now I'm gonna do a second cleanse to make sure that my skin is clean. I think a lot of skincare mistakes that girls make is based on the cleansing. You just take off your makeup, but are you actually cleansing your skin as well? This is a really good cleanser, so it's definitely got my skin clean now, but I just like that second cleanse. It's what beauty therapists and stuff do, so it has to be the right way. And I just like the second cleanse to make sure that I am fully clean and fresh and ready for all of my skincare so that my skincare will soak beautifully into my skin. So for the second round, I guess, I just use one pump because we're not like dissolving makeup or anything. We're just giving that final cleanse. It's not stripping even though we're going in for a second cleanse. But this formula is also non-comeogenic, I think is the word, which means it's non-clogging for the pores. And that's tested by dermatologists and stuff. So when you think oil, don't think, ah, run away, it's gonna make my skin oily. No. You want to hydrate your skin so that your skin doesn't overproduce oils itself and then make your skin oily. That is the tea. So now that my skin is all clean, makeup is all gone, I just quickly splash my face with cold water. It's a habit I've gotten into over the years and it's usually what I do in like replace of toner a lot. The cold water will just um, like stimulate the skin, close back up the pores. I've just always done it. It's good to do with your hair as well to seal the follicles. So yeah, I'm going to just splash my face with water. It's, you know what that looks like. <laughs> Then I'm just patting my skin dry. No need to be aggressive with your skin. Always be gentle. So now that that is done, my face feels really fresh, really clean. It doesn't feel stripped. It feels soft and just ready to go for skincare. So I haven't actually used a toner forever, but I have been using toners maybe for the last like six months and enjoying them. I used to just do the cold water step, but now I'm kind of like, getting a little bit more into them. So I do have a couple of toners that I switch up on depending on what I need on the day. But at the moment, I'm really liking this one. This is the Fresh Rose Deep Hydration Facial Toner. So it's like one of those softening lotion toners that you see a lot of Korean skincare routines kind of talking about. And yeah, again, a lot of toners, just like cleansers, can be quite stripping and contain a lot of like alcohol and stuff. Whereas this is a hydrating one and um, even from being quite sick lately, it's winter here in Australia, I've had really bad flus and stuff. I just want hydration again, in every step, as much hydration as possible. So not traditionally, like with a toner, I'm not gonna put it on a cotton pad and wipe it over my face, even though you can do that. I'm going to apply some into my hand and then just like pat it on my face. And this smells lovely, it smells kind of like rose, but not in the granny kind of sense, like <laughs> in the fresh sense. And yeah, it just feels like water in the face. Water, but hydrating water. And I just pat that in until my skin feels 
like it's absorbed it nicely. So now in terms of serums and stuff, I do mix up depending on what my skin needs on the night. I'm a cocktail maker with skincare. I'm always mixing and matching whatever my skin really, really needs. So um, I'm going to do that tonight as well. I'm going to just take out the products that I've used tonight, but you'll see other products again another time. So first off, I'm going to use some Endota Spa Peptide Peptide 8 Hyaluronic Serum. This was sent to me a while ago. Um, it's a spa in Sydney, I believe, but you can buy their products online. Um, and the spa has their own range. They sent me some products and I didn't really like get too excited about them. Um, for no other reason than I just already had lots of skincare that I loved. And then I brought some extra skincare over to my boyfriend's house. And this was one of the products I was like, yeah, I'll need a serum, you know, you know when you're staying overnight, you're like, I need a little skincare bag. So I put this in my extra skincare bag in his house, but ended up taking it home because every time I used it in his house, I noticed a big difference. And um, similar difference to when I use Estee Lauder Advanced Night Repair, which is still my favorite serum of all time, but I just haven't repurchased it at the moment. I would use that right now if I had it, but I don't. So yeah, this is a hyaluronic acid serum and it is just a really nice base for the rest of my serums. I'm just using like a half a dropper all across the face. No vigorous rubbing or anything. I'm just patting that on the face and this is really light. This dries down as well. It's not like an oil or anything. It's very hydrating, Hy hyaluronic acid. I always like mix up that word. Hyaluronic acid is a really popular buzzword in makeup and skincare for hydration. It holds like a thousand times its own weight in water and really helps your skin to absorb moisture. So it's a really good base for your other skincare. And if you're wondering kind of like what way to do your oils and skincare, like what order to put them on in, I always go from like the lightest to the heaviest. So the stuff that evaporates and absorbs into the skin goes first and then move on to oils and then finally your moisturizers. So it's like the heavier products at the end because then you can sandwich them all in quite nicely. Now I'm going in with the Ole Henriksen Transform Plus Glow Cycle Retinol to Power Serum. That is a long name. This is a really good night serum that I found about six months, eight months ago. And this is my like third bottle of it. I really like it. It is um, anti-aging and dark spot reducing, but without having actual retinol in it. So, and it's like purple, which is cute. <laughs> um, it does have AHAs in it, which help with exfoliation of the skin and rejuvenating the skin, you know, revealing the bottom younger skin. So, it's really good for just cell turnover, making your skin look really young. I'm going to avoid the burn on my face, even though this is super gentle. I'm just not going to put it on any area that is slightly irritated because there are AHAs in it, which can sometimes cause a little bit of irritation for people. That's dried in as well. It's not like an oil, so you can see why I've chosen those products first. But now, speaking of oil, I love oil. I have so many oils. I use them with my makeup. I use like 17 different oils in my skincare routine. Tonight, I'm just going to use one. <laughs> but um, I just love oils. I think people are so afraid of oils for no reason. Oil can help even oily skin. Don't be afraid of it. Um, so at the moment, I'm trying out the Skin Institute. Skin Institute is, oh, hello, Luna. Can you hear a little bell? Um, Skin Institute is a brand that is stocked again in, what do you call it? Spas and beauty therapists and everything. It's not like an exciting, attractive brand in terms of product packaging, but what's inside is always really good and quite affordable as well in comparison to its counterparts. So this is a multi-active oil. It nourishes and strengthens. I have so many different oils. I could talk about oils all day, but this one, I'm just using one pump and I'm going to pat that into my face. I really think that's for another video to really get into oils, 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 because I could just talk about it all day. And I apply this everywhere, patting it in. And you can see my skin is going to look super dewy. 
and I love that. The nighttime skincare routine is where you want to put in all the oils and all of the stuff that could potentially disturb makeup because it absorbs overnight. You know, that's not the stuff you want to do in the morning before you do a big skin or big makeup routine. I drench myself at night and then reap the benefits overnight and then can do more minimal skincare in the morning. You feel me? Then I've actually been using at night an oil on my eyes too. Who would have thunk it? This is down to the last drop. It is the Uma Absolute Anti-Aging Eye Oil. I absolutely love this stuff. If you have dehydrated under eyes, your concealer creases, um, you know, aging, dry under eyes, this is so good. So I just apply probably the equivalent of like one or two drops under each eye. And then it goes a long way with this. And then I just pat it in. And this is so good. Uma is a brand that's stocked in Sephora. It's one of their more indie brands. And their facial oils are amazing. And I've never heard anyone talk about them. I think I'm gonna have to do a video about like secret brands I found in Sephora that nobody talks about because I feel like there are so many. <laughs> and then for some reason with my eye cream, I always end up bringing it down my nasibill folds, nasibill will will folds, whatever they're called. I feel like that's a wrinkly place. I don't know, it probably makes no difference, but it's just something I always do. So my skin is feeling really, really good right now. All that I have left to do is moisturizer. Moisturizer is another place that I tend to mix and match depending on how my skin is feeling. And um, this is where I also self tan my face as well. I'm not gonna self tan my face tonight, but if I were to, I use the Isle of Paradise vegan friendly, cruelty free and organic medium self tanning drops for face and body. These are so good. And what I do is I, put them into the cap of my moisturizer. So this is my moisturizer here. I'll put the drops into the cap with a blob of my moisturizer. And then I use a brush to apply my moisturizer. And that way I can buff it in and have like very blended edges and stuff if I'm having a tan face. Not doing that tonight though, um, but that is my favorite way to tan the face. I'm using the Ola Henriksen Transform Plus Goodnight Glow Retinol Sleeping Cream. This is what matches with the serum I used earlier on, the purple one. And it's very similar, like it's great for dark spots, anti-aging, hydration, just brightening and smoothing the skin. And this formula is really quite like thick and luxurious and it sinks beautifully into the skin overnight. So if your skin is a bit parched, this is lovely. I really like how these products smell, but I don't know what they smell of. It's not like a fragrance, it's like the ingredients, but it smells great. So that is my nighttime makeup removal and skincare routine at the moment. I hope that you learned something or got some really good product suggestions that might help you with your purchases. And that's all we have for today. Thank you so much for watching and I'll talk to you again really, really soon.